Hi everyone, welcome to Applied Data Visualization with D3 by Joe's Dirksen, a series of tutorial videos by PAC Publishing. I'm Doug Stevens, and I'll be the voiceover artist for this course. Before we get started with D3, here's the briefest possible word about the author, Joe's Dirksen. Joe's has worked as a software developer and architect for more than a decade. He has a lot of experience in a large range of technologies, ranging from back end technologies such as Java and Scala to front-end development using HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. He regularly speaks at conferences and likes to write about new and interesting technologies on his blog. He also likes to experiment with new technologies and see how they can be best used to create beautiful data visualizations, the results of which you can see on his blog at smartjava.org. Let's take a look at what we've got in store. Section 1. Visualizing Graphs uses the force layout to visualize graphs of data. We'll use this d3.js API to visualize relations between Simpson characters in different and interactive ways. We'll also show a custom matrix visualization, which can be used to visualize a large matrix of interconnected relations. Section 2, Visualizing Streaming Data, explores different options on how you can use d3.js to visualize real-time streaming data. We'll show you how to receive information through web sockets and visualize that information in different ways. Section 3, Voronoi Diagrams and Heat Maps, shows two final ways of visualizing data. We'll show various Voronoi-based visualizations and approach, which you can use to generate art using these Voronoi diagrams. In this video, we'll also show you a way to create heat maps, which show a way to visualize occurrence data during a specific period of time. Section 4, Custom Shapes and Paths, and using a brush selection, goes deeper into the tools provided by d3.js to create custom shapes and paths. We'll also explore the brush API provided by d3.js, which can be used to easily select elements from a visualization. These would be the prerequisites of the course. Take a good look. This course takes you through a number of practical solutions converting a wide range of topics you need to know about applied visualization in D3. So, what are we waiting for? Let's begin this journey. 